This morning, Legion riders are revving up their engines in northern Michigan as they prepare for a trip to raise money. To find out where this money is going and how long the trip is going to be, 7 and 4's Alyssa Heron joins us live from Post 281 in Harbor Springs to fill us in. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Brennan and Melissa. Joining me now is Jim Austin. He's the department liaison for the American Le Legion riders. Sorry about that. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Good morning. So I want you to tell me a little bit about the Legacy Fund Run. It's a big day in Michigan. Yes, it is. This is our first annual fundraiser for the American Legion Legacy Scholarship Fund. Uh, that's been in the program. It guarantees a scholarship for any child who's lost a parent in active duty since 9-11. And it, it, although it is not a Legion Rider event, the Legion Riders have taken ownership of this. And since the inception, the Legion Riders have donated over $5 million to this fund. Today is Mer uh, Michigan's first legacy fund run and uh, we hope everything kicks uh, goes pretty well all right and several bikes are already starting to show up how many people are involved and kind of tell me the schedule where are you guys going right now we have about 65 registrations and about 35 bikes are going to be making the ride we're going to start of course this morning in harbor springs post 281 who's graciously stepped up and done a phenomenal job taking care of us uh, we stop at a few posts along the way we're going to have lunch in manistee and we're going to end up overnight in Gar uh, grand rapids Okay, and how can people still get involved? Um, the itinerary, our ride route, will be on the department website, and you can join us at any point along the ride. Okay, and right now we have a breakfast that's getting prepared at the Harbor Post 281. Uh, what are they serving up? And the public can actually come out to this today. Absolutely. It's a fundraiser, so we welcome anybody who wants to come on down and help. Um, biscuits and gravy, sausage, uh, scrambled eggs. Okay. And pancakes. And, oh, and pancakes. That's very important. And I think it's $8 so the public can come on down, participate in this breakfast. And when are you guys taking off today? We're going to be leaving around 9 o'clock. It is $8, but all the proceeds are coming back right to our fund. So it's a great cause. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Coming up at 630, we're going to share even more information of what the American Legion Riders are doing today. All of this information and more will be on our website at upnorthlive.com. Reporting live in Harbor Springs, Alyssa Heron, 7 and 4 News. Definitely a nice program, especially helping military families and also uh, college tuition can, is a huge deal for everybody. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to know there are ways to raise that money. And we're going to get more ways on how you can help coming up a little bit later in the show with 7 and 4's Alyssa Herring. Mm -hmm. I'm live in Harbor Springs at the Smith Hoover Post 281 where American Legion riders are getting ready to rev up their engines and raise money. Coming up, we'll tell you how you can get involved and why they're doing this. You're watching 7 and 4 News today. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Brendan and Melissa. Joining me again is Jim Austin, department liaison for the American Legion Riders. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here and supporting us. Absolutely. And you already have your motorcycle all revved up. We have several other people coming, and this is all for the Legacy Fund Run. So I want you to tell me what that is. The Legacy Fund is a scholarship program guaranteed uh, college education for any child who's lost a parent in active duty since 9-11. Okay, and this is actually the first time that it's taking place here in Michigan. This is Michigan's first annual Legacy Fund Raiser. Okay, and you know, kind of describe how many people are getting involved with it today and what's your schedule looking like? Well, the actual people are gonna start off on the ride is about uh, 40 people. We will be having people join us at stops along the way. You can join anytime along the way. We're leaving here, this wonderful post here, 281 at uh, Harbor Springs. We'll be uh, ending up in uh, Grand Rapids for the night. They're uh, supporting us also. And uh, you can join all the way along the ride and, uh, it's going to be a great time. All right, and several of your lovely members are upstairs cooking up breakfast right now. You know, what are they serving? And it's open to the public, correct? Breakfast is open to the public. It's a fundraiser, so we want all the support we can get. It's $8 for uh, pancakes, eggs, sausage, biscuits and gravy, all the important stuff. Okay, and we're right here on State and 3rd Street in downtown Harbor Springs, so people can come on out. Um, if cars want to still get, or cars can actually participate in this too, correct? Absolutely. Everybody's welcome. It's a fundraiser. The more the merrier. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And once again, we'll put all of this information up on our website at upnorthlive.com. Reporting live in Harbor Springs, Alyssa Heron, 7 and 4 News. Fantastic event. I mean, going across the state uh, with this ride and uh, going, you know, down to, to southern Michigan as well and all raising money for military members' mm -hmm. families. Uh, he said people who, who lost people since 9-11. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and of course, we know college tuition. It's a, it's a huge deal. So sure any is, help yeah. that people can get, it's uh, always a good thing.